What's up my dudes, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be featuring the Yak-9P, battery rating 5.0 Russian fighter. And I chose the Yak-9P today simply because um, I love the Yak-9P. Uh, I think that battle rating for battle rating, tier for tier, um, it's one of the best planes in War Thunder. And one of the most well-balanced planes in War Thunder, uh, sitting here at 5.0. I absolutely adore this plane, and every time I take this plane out, I just seem to have a good time in it. Um, so, yeah, I, I feel like I can comfortably say that this is probably one of, if not, uh, my favorite propeller planes in War Thunder. If not number one, definitely top two or three, because this plane is insane. And so, uh, you might be asking yourself, well, right away, uh, you, know, you might notice, sorry, I got tongue-tied. You might notice that it is folded with the Yak-3P. Um, the Yak-9P differs from the Yak-3P in the sense that it's a little bit bigger, has a little bit longer range in a realistic, practical sense. That's what uh, the Yak-9P or Yak-9 series in general was used for over the Yak-3. Um, very similar in performance at altitude, uh, flight characteristics, handling, very similar. The Yak-9 just has a slightly larger wing area more fuel tank capacity, uh, longer range, you know, that's basically what it was used for in real life, like longer scout patrol missions, while the Yak-3P, or the Yak-3 in general, I guess, was more of a air superiority interceptor for the Yak series. And so, just so I can show you guys a quick little side-by-side -side of what we're dealing with here, the Yak-3P, just marginally smaller than the Yak-9, like, you kind of got to look at it a couple times to really kind of see it, but you can see that uh, the wings are just slightly bigger on the Yak-9P. Now the Yak-9P is also the first Yak-9 to feature all metal construction. Um, so if you're coming from the Yak-9U down at 4.3, I think? 4.7? Yeah, 4.7. Okay. Yeah, so that's going to be nice. You're going to have a little bit higher of a rip speed because of the metal wings. Um, compression in your control surfaces is going to be a little bit better because, once again, all metal construction. It is also the first Yak in general, I think, that features a customizable weapon loadout. Um, you start out with three 20mm cannons, one in the propeller hub, two in the cowling, and then you can switch out the 20mm cannon for the 23mm cannon, which I currently have equipped, or the 37mm cannon. Um, it is not the same one as on the Yak-9T. This is an N37. That one is an NS37 on the Yak-9T. Um, the differences are slightly higher, fa uh, slightly higher fire rate, um, but slower muzzle velocity on that 37mm cannon. Still a very punchy cannon, I love that cannon. And I think that's the reason I love the Yak-9P so much. Um, you get the Yak-9's firepower, but you get the Yak-3's uh, maneuverability. And I absolutely adore this plane for that reason. Now, the 20mm cannons are B-20S's, they are not Shavak's, and they're not B-20M's. Uh, I think the B-20S as opposed to the B-20M, yeah, I think it's just a shorter barreled version of a B-20M. Um, and basically they're just like higher, more punchy, higher rate, higher fire rate Shavak. Sorry, that was very hard to get out. I don't know why I'm getting so tongue-tied and brain twisted today. Um, excuse me for that. I do apologize. Now, as far as the engine, I think it's a VK-107 or 105. Yeah, it's a, yeah. M107, VK107, same thing. Pushing out about 1600 horsepower. You do get WEP on the Yak-9P as well, so that's a very nice uh, change of pace. On all the other Yaks before this, and I think with the exception of the Yak-9U, I could be wrong, um, they don't have WEP. So, you know, getting WEP on the Yaks is very nice change of pace. Uh, the engine does overheat like crazy, though, so you don't want to lay on the WEP. Um, you know, kind of use it in emergencies or when you're just doing your initial climb, then lay off, um, you're going to be okay. Um, but yeah, man, as far as, you know, maneuverability, turning, um, agility, it's basically just a Yak-9U with metal wings. It's a very maneuverable plane, very scary plane in the hands of a skilled pilot. And uh, I think that I have really just kind of blabbed on enough about the Yak-9P. But I could, I could sit here all day and talk to you guys about this plane. I love this plane so much. But uh, I've rambled on enough. Before I get into the games, I do want to say Twitch and Discord links in the description below. In-game squadron on screen now for those of you who are interested. And without further ado, let's do. 
Alrighty, we are here on China Civil War against the Germans, the Americans, and who else? The Italians. Oh, I didn't know that the Italians got an IL-10. That's intriguing. Very intriguing. Okay, it is a full up tier to 6.0. We got a couple, we got an F2G in here. Unless they move that thing down to 5.7 without my knowledge, but I highly doubt it. It's always been 6 though, as long as I can remember. P-51s, P-47s. We're actually at a pretty decent altitude for the Yak-9. I like this. I like this. I kind of want to see what the enemy team is going to do. They're chasing that Tu-2, and they're going for that Lancaster. There's a Hornet up there. Oh my goodness. That's a fun plane right there. A lot of people sleep on the Hornet, but, uh, man, I, I actually like that plane quite a lot. All right. Enemy team... What are y'all doing? There's a BF-109, still kind of high. F2G. Okay, so it looks like we got a G-55, two miles low. P-51 and a P-47. Maybe I can get the G-55 and a head on here. Okay, not a head on, but still set him on fire. Damages of tail. That's that 37 millimeter doing the work right there. He put it out. Okay. Falkwolf 190. Yeah, let's go after the P51 actually. That G55. It's looking pretty pretty okay actually. P51 going after the Yak. Man, I wish their team wasn't as spread out as they are. This would make this a lot easier. P-51 is on the Yak-3, but I don't want to rip my wings. What's this P-51 doing? He's going this way. I'm going to chase him down. Come here, P-51. The hit. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I just had to barrel stuff the P-51 real quick. Alright. The G-55 is dead as well. There's an F-82 who's hurting. Who's here? Who's around? F-82 is hurting once more. MB-264 up high. Scan around. F-2G, Do-335 is dead. F-82 is dead. BF-109 and an F2G up high. There's only four guys left on their team. We managed to get two kills. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad for a first game, anyway. Nice little warm-up. I'm going to go for this P1 real quick, just to get some extra points. Ooh, the F2G is actually coming in for the A7M. Oh, he's going way too fast. I want to see if I can get into a decent intercepts position. Oh, come here. Couple hits. I still have plenty of cannon ammo. But he's just gonna run. Doing some lazy rolling. Yeah, I'm not gonna catch him. Maybe I will. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, I mean, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> we managed to score ourselves a third kill, but I'm pretty sure he just kind of gave that to me. Kind of a give me, I don't know. I'm an RTB, I have very little ammo left. There it is. Alright, we are here on Rocky Pillars, and it is just everybody versus everybody in, I think, an LA-11? Okay, so it's 5-7, okay. I thought that was an LA-9, I was like, no way! <laughs> Let's see if we can't get a sneaky pass, cheeky pass on this TU-2 here. I'm only gonna take one pass at him. Critted. Looks like it's tail damage. 
And this one actually has big old guns on it. Yep. I was like, I know that TU1 has guns, very scary guns, and I'm already pretty low on 37mm cannon ammo. Damages of elevator. Probably gonna get an assist for that one. And I'm okay with that. Engine damage, elevator damage. We got a Spitfire four miles out. Oh yeah, he just bombed himself. Big smart, big smart. Oh, a Heinkel 162 across the map. Intriguing. And I still get credit for that one too. Nice, nice. I wish that a, a quarter of our team hadn't chased down one bomber, but you know, it is what it is. A Yak-3, a Spitfire fighting a Zero. I'm intrigued to see how this plays out. I'm not going to get involved unless I uh, feel that this Zero is actually in trouble. Oh, Spitfire just ripped his wings, or ripped his flaps. Come on, Zero, you can do it. Alright, I'm going to make a pass. If the zero doesn't get him here, no, the zero's gonna get him. I'm not gonna sacrifice all my altitude for that. Oh, come on, zero. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother with that. Alright, who is here? We got a bear cat and a lot of enemies over this way. I want to stay high just a little bit longer, get more above the enemies. There is a bear cat directly beneath me. But then that will open me up to all those guys over there. And there's an LA-11 on that bear cat right now anyway, so I'm going to kill my throttle. Ooh, hello Mr. P-47. Oh, you have screwed up, Mr. P-47. Ah, oh, dang it. Dang it. Get those landing flaps out. Oh, that would have been hilarious if I hit him. He's probably going to outdive me here now. P-47 is just a big old hefty honking boy of a plane right there. Oh, I mean, if... Alright, let's not compress. I can keep up with him. My energy retention is better than his. Oh, if he's gonna turn. Hmm. Alright! <laughs> Snapped his wing clean off with that last 37mm cannon round. Oh, I love this plane. I absolutely adore this plane. Is he the last guy? No. He is the second to last guy, but I have very low ammo, so. Alrighty, we are here on Kalkin Gold. <laughs> it's just uh, us and the Americans versus the British, Germans, Chinese, Japanese, the French... Those might be the Italians. Oh, the French and the Italians. Okay, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. All right. <laughs> so we got a whole mix of uh, enemies just all over the board here. Hal 152 and a Falkwolf 190. Heinkel 162 up tiered to 6.0. This is, this is lots of fun. We're, we're going to have a lot of fun here, boys. All right, so... Uh, against my better judgment, I'm probably going to try and pick a fight with this Ta and this 190, just to see if I can get them off of this, of this field. Alright, well, if you're not even going to pay attention to me, well, shoot. And looks like the D-13 hit 
the i225 that's less than ideal all right let's actually pounce this 109 that 190 is hurting what's this 109 gonna do 109k You're dead? Alright, let's get this 190. Let's avenge that I-225. Oh! Alright, well, I'll just outrun the KI-100 as well. Sir, where is your wing? You have no wing. And I'm gonna stop cooking my engine and just get away from this guy. Probably pull away about another mile or so. Oh! Okay, I was like, where's my team? But they're up there fighting a G55 and a P47. Alright. This is dumb. I don't recommend doing this at home, kids. All right, well, if I'm just gonna take his wing off, sure. <laughs> oh, these guns are so good. All right, they have a line of guys going back to their airfield and it looks like it's just gonna be their auxiliary. Beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Those guys are still tied up. Spitfire and a Seafire, eh? Alright, let's kill our engine and dive after the Spitty. feel bad about going after them on the auxiliary. They've absolutely trashed our team. Alright, Doe 335. I'll fight you. Get him, Bearcat. Get him, Bearcat. Get him, get him. Doe 335. Bearcat, what was that? Hmm, no, well, this is an interesting development. I'm just gonna ravage their team at their airfield, why not? <laughs> Look at this absolute mess. Fight me! Fight me, cowards! <laughs> GG. Five kills. I'll take it. GG. Alright, my dudes, that's going to be it for today's video in the Yak9P. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I certainly did enjoy this video, making this video. Um, we had a bit of a slow start here. <laughs> Two kills, uh, very, not bad, nothing to, you know, turn your nose up at. But, man, that fight over the enemy airfield, that one versus however many there was there at the end, man, I, I knew I was done, but I was just like, I'm gonna take down as many as I can with me. My team got trashed, and I'm going to trash you guys back. <laughs> nah, man. If you guys, um, you know, kind of skip over the Yak-9P, I know um, a lot of people probably might because it's foldered, 
um seriously go go check it out go go see what this thing has to offer and i'm i'm confident that this thing will win a a, a high place in your heart i'm very confident in that um yeah like i said at the beginning it's the firepower of a yak 9t with all the scary parts of a yak 3 and so it's just like this great mashup amalgamation of all the best parts of both of the yak series of planes coming together to just make this perfectly balanced thing of beauty here <laughs> but um i think that's really all i have for you guys today twitch and discord links in the description below in game squadron on screen now for those of you who are interested and i will see you guys in the next one peace out